These grab pretty hard. There are no words to express how important it is. The faster we get going, the better we can stop because stock brakes heat up very quickly when you're going much well above the speed limit or on the track and all of a sudden your brakes are jolting and you can't come to stop fast enough or you're about to get in an accident because even if it's going somewhere 40 miles an hour you can't stop fast enough so as much as we like improving our car and making it faster look better and sound better and be more fun i cannot express how important it is that we upgrade our brakes. So shout out to Hawk Performance. We're going over a bunch of things they sent out for the Focus ST that I'm really excited about. Now I'm gonna explain what happened with this box. Uh, me and Trevor, were, Trevor's editing in his room, which he can see out the, by the front door. And then I was in my room editing and then all of a sudden he, he's, he has his headphones on and uh, I'm sitting at my computer and all of a sudden I hear boom, like so loud. I was like, Trevor, what was that? He was like, didn't hear me. I was like, Trevor, what was that? He pulls off his head. He's like, dude, what was that? He looks outside. It's the UPS guy. These brake rotors in here are so flipping big and heavy. They busted through the box, and the poor UPS guy almost dropped him on his toe. And I caught him out there. And this box busted completely wide open. So it probably won't. I don't know how it was thrown around, what happened. I've never had an incident like that before. But these brake rotors are nice huge they're darker color they're drilled and a little bit slits in it these things are going to be a huge upgrade now we're going to get up close on those in a sec let's open up these other boxes with the rotors we have a left and right side which it goes over the importance of that and making sure you got them on the right side which we'll get to that when we get to installing it we've got two more boxes i had the packaging list here there's so much going on with the focus i don't even remember so this is much of a surprise for you as it is for me right now all right so here we go we got some pads in here we got some hawk performance race proven street legal performance ceramic disc brake pads i like this already those are the rears they're much smaller Let's look at the fronts. These are going to be awesome. Each box comes with a gearhead grease pack to silence brake noise, lubricate the calipers. And don't forget, the nice thing about Hawk is they are ultra low dust, they're OE grade, noise dampening, extended pad and rotor life, superior stopping power, and lifetime warranty. I'm all about that ultra low dust life because I do like white wheels, so don't take that too much of a hint for this build it's coming up soon we can have some rotors again which which way they need to go do not use brake cleaner so normally when you get brake rotors out of the package you've seen in some videos in the past you definitely don't want to not use brake cleaner. But these are not normal. These are already cleaned, ready to rock. They don't have any oil stuff on them or anything like that. And so if you get performance brakes and if you order them from Hawk in the description, I'll have a link to order all this, a kit ready to go for your focus. Um, don't use brake cleaner, super important. some heat last video about not showing what the mud flaps looked like here you go take a look take a peep i am so sorry i had the clip in there I accidentally deleted it right before i exported and uploaded it total mistake on my end but i got a new stereo in the shop super lit uh it's subwoofer uh it was a makeshift jank setup thanks justin for the receiver if you're watching this i enjoyed music this whole time i installed this now we're taking the bolts off on or the lug nuts off they're 19 millimeters going around the whole car ripping them off these lug nuts on this car suck they are like soft there's not very much, you know, to get a hold of, but I'm going to go in the toolbox right now, grab a half inch drive. So I thought 
throw it on my mini impact. Oh, realize that this is a 3 8 drive that you're about to see. Oh, I need the half inch drive for my 19 millimeter socket. Go back, let's grab the half inch. Yep, that's the half inch. I'm gonna grab that, slap it on the mini impact. Got the socket ready to rock, zap them off. Wait, my lug nut is stuck to my socket and these are the crappy lug nuts. They get soft, they get round, you have to put it on there, whack it with a hammer. As you saw, I forgot to loosen a nut, so I had to take the jack stand out. Super amateur mistake, don't do that. Now I'm jacking the car back up, regretting it. So now I can pull the wheel off, take the rear off. Those lug nuts are good. Those front ones suck again. Got everything off. Let's get some light on the subject. Let's take a look under here. We got two plastic clips covering two bolts, and those two bolts are T45 Torx. You're gonna see my T my Torx kit for my sock Torx sockets. They're called. You're gonna see me zap it out. That's a bolt right there. It's got the long looking weird bolt. Now the spring that holds the calipers together. You're gonna see how I pry it off right here. It's super hard to get off. It just Stick it in there the way I did, look very closely, and it should come right off. Now I'm gonna look at the orientation of the pad so I don't forget when I put the new ones on. Now I'm gonna pull the inner brake pad out. It's kinda of like a spring thing that goes in the piston of the brakes. You see my stock OEM brakes are in great condition. I think someone recently changed them or this car wasn't driven very hard, and I don't really know. I'm not sure, but they seem to be new. So I'm gonna go ahead and take an eight, 18 millimeter on my mini impact. I'm gonna zap the brake caliper bracket off and I realized that my uh, mini impact wasn't strong enough so I got my breaker bar on there break it loose now I got my mini impact again I'm gonna go ahead and zap these out to 18 millimeter bolts now the bracket comes falls right off throw my bolts in my magnetic cup bowls thing now I'm gonna do everything I can here. I'm gonna whack it, I'm gonna hit it with a hammer, I'm gonna do all these things in just a big waste of time. Oh, you think you can still get it off, dude? Yeah, right. This thing is rusted on. I was playing myself. Now I got my seafoam deep creep lubricant sprayed all around. Let it sit for about 10 minutes and watch this. Whack, 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 spin, 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 whack, whack, whack. Boom, right off. Don't waste your time, just do that the first time. Now I got my new, ooh, Hawk Performance left side brake rotor with the new pads low dust ceramic i am stoked to get these on taking a look at them let's get our caliper bracket back on zap it on with our 18 millimeter bolts put some torque behind it make sure they're tight we do not want our brakes falling off now let's take our c-clamp that you can't fit so you put a brake pad in there now do the other side don't do what i did right now i'm like prying on like the pad side that was an amateur mistake flip it over do the metal side and push that piston all the way in so the new pads can fit we're going to take our grease pack right here we're going to go ahead and put it on this is the first time i've ever used grease on my brakes um this is all i've been doing car stuff a long time but brakes i've just been very lazy because i get caught up but this is the first time i've done brakes where i really haven't gotten frustrated yet because i actually knew what i was getting into but if i had a video like this it would probably would make me slow down and do it right so just do this Run it all over the side and on the edges. It's going to keep the brakes from squeaking or making any noise, and they're just going to smooth move around in there as they do a smidge, a couple millimeters back and forth, up and down inside the brake caliper. It keeps them from squeaking and making noise. It's just all good things. So we're going to go ahead and put it on. We're going to get our Torx T45 Torx bolts back in. Snug them up by hand, zap them on with the tool. Don't forget about the top one. I didn't show it in the video right there. Everything's tight good to go we're gonna take our spring we're gonna put it in the top one pry on on the bottom one and uh, push it in it's kind of difficult it was hard to show on camera but you guys can figure it out it's a uh, dummy easy now let's do the other side extremely fast Moving on to the back, we're gonna pry the spring off, which is much simpler than the front ones. We're gonna go ahead and pull our sway bar link off to give us some more room. It doesn't like to move, so you kinda of have to whack it out of the way. We're gonna grab our floor jack, push it up out of the way so that the sway bar will let us into the caliper bolts. They're T45 on the rear as well. We're gonna lift it right off, pull our pads out, and now we're gonna go ahead with our 14 millimeter bolts and pull off the caliper bracket. We're gonna go ahead and slide off the brake rotor. You can take a look at the stock one. It's actually in good condition. It looks like they had been turned recently or they were newer. Um, and then we're gonna slap our new Hawk Performance one on. 
That looks amazing. We're going to get our caliper bracket back on. I try and use a C clamp like the front brakes does not work. I reminded I am reminded quickly that these brakes you have to spin the piston down as you go. So I try and grab it with a pair of pliers and that doesn't work as well because you have to be pushing down on it at the same time. So I found out that you can use some oil filter pliers or aisle six in O'Reilly's. Go grab some. Um, they do have a tool specific I'm going to show you for it, but this is where the oil filter pliers are at, pliers are at. they're $13, um, totally worth it. So you're going to go ahead and grip the whole thing as tight as you can with your right hand. It is pretty tough because it's such a wide grip, and then you want to spin it with the pliers on the other side and twist it to the right so it tightens it down. This is a disc brake caliper tool set. Um, it doesn't really work that well. It does work, but it's better just to do this way. It's faster. So you're with the right, with your right hand, with the oil filter pliers, you're pushing down. With your left hand, you're twisting um, the piston back in, and then we're good to go. Now our brake pads fit. Don't even mess with the tool kit. Just get the oil filter wrench. I learned the hard way. My hand got tired on the other side, and I had to ask my roommate for help. But you can see I put the spring back. Um, all the bolts back. It's just like the front, but a small version. Now I'm going to throw everything back on. It never rains here. Ever. It's really a bummer that we're gonna test brakes on wet roads, but these aren't, this isn't a big brake Brembo test 100 to zero situation. We just want something that's better, something that's not breaking the bank, something that's not hard to install, and this is the perfect setup. So let's just go on the freeway, maybe get on the brakes pretty hard and see if it's a little more touchy. What the situation is i never had upgraded brakes before so this is just as much new to me as it is to you so uh, let me start the car and get it out of here obviously we're going to be careful first getting on the brakes because your pedal is really not going to be there after you push the brake pistons back in so oh If I'm just placeboing out right now. <laughs> These grab pretty hard already. You can hear the pads on like the the new rotors. It sounds like because they're fresh and they have that like black coating on them. It sounds like something's broken, but it's not. First time driving in the rain in the ST and uh, the windshield wipers are interesting. That's the fastest we can go on this. Is that all we got? Oh, oh. Brap, 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 brap. Brake test in the rain. It's like right, it's like they feel really, really good and then right when you're about to come to a stop, they just freaking just brap. Can't really explain it or give you guys an idea of it or a video, it's just impossible, but. Oh, I smell them. Oh yeah. So rainy, check this out. Action control off. Oh. Oh. Overall, as far as the daily, we're talking a little mushier pedal up to about 30% of the pedal. And then after about 40 to 100%, it grabs hard. And I can tell just from the change in rotors, the way it grabs is a little different. It's a little grippier. And it does, I can tell it doesn't tend to heat up as quick, as crazy it is. To say that you can tell, I you can just feel it in the pedal. It, it's I don't really know how to describe it. It feels good. I really like it. It's gonna make driving around town like right now. I'm kind of too light, and I can just ease on the brakes. Ford brakes are notorious for just like giving that like 
you know, the four drivers are whip your neck, you know what I mean? Just because that first 10% of the pedal, it just grabs so quick. This alleviates that. It makes it feel almost more like a Chevy, in my opinion. And I really, really dig it because dailying, it's a little smoother. You, your passengers won't hit you. And uh, when, the, when you want it to grab, it really, really grabs, and you can feel a huge difference. So if you guys are enjoying the ST build, you want to up upgrade your brakes, hit the link in the description to hop performance brakes down below. I'll have everything written out, super simple, but I, I don't highly recommend you have to go check out the ST build on the channel. The easiest way to get to it is to click my name down below, go to the playlist and look at the Focus ST build playlist, and then maybe you can check out the Subaru, we've done the Mazda Speed in the past, all that. If you're new here, go check it out. If you know, if you are a normal here, you know the drill. So I appreciate you guys supporting, and I'll see you in the playlist. To address the Subaru real quick, I did get the last two parts that I needed to start building the engine. We had some problems. I had to get sorted out. It's been taking way longer than I thought, but it's going to be totally worth it. So that is coming very soon as well. We'll be at good speed performance doing the engine build.